Welcome back. Time is running out before the total solar eclipse next week, so you're going to want to make sure that you've got the right eye gear so you can safely watch it without damaging your eyes. Joining us with everything that we need to know to protect our vision next week is Dr. Carl Stites with Stites Eye Care in Rockford. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Appreciate it. Yes. We've been talking about it, and we know these glasses, they are a hot commodity. But yes. let's just begin with talking about why it's not a good idea to look directly at the sky when the solar eclipse is happening. Well, the first thing I want to talk about is what types of rays are coming from the sun that can cause the damage. So okay. the sun emits electromagnetic radiation and it's in different wavelengths. Mm -hmm. So we've got gamma rays, x-rays, all kind of things are coming from the sun. Luckily, our atmosphere absorbs most of them, but what gets through is the visible light, colors of the rainbow, mm -hmm. and ultraviolet and infrared. Mm -hmm. Those are the two that cause the problems. And you yeah. can't see those. That's the challenge. Okay. They're invisible. So you can see the brightness of the sun. You can't see UV and infrared. So let me talk about how the eye works first. Your eyes are round, kind of like a ping pong ball, and the image, when you look at it, goes through the cornea, through the front of the eye, goes through your pupil, which is the opening that lets light in. Your, your lens sits right behind the pupil, mm -hmm. and everything focuses on the back of the eye. This orange is all of your retina, okay? This is your retina, but the back of the eye, right at the very back, right there, is your macula. So mm -hmm. that's where all your central vision is. So when you look at something, the image lands right there on the macula. So this part of the retina out in the periphery is your peripheral vision. So mm -hmm. it, when you see something to the side. So yeah. it, 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 it's useful, but your macula is where all your central vision is. If anything happens to your central vision, not it's not good. good. Well, it's not good. Because yeah. when, when I look at you, I can see there's words over here. I can see white. I can't, I can't read them. I can't right. see them. So your peripheral vision is more for motion and, and sensitivity, but your macula is what gets damaged from the sun. And the okay. problem is when you look up at this, you don't normally look at the sun in the summer. It's bright. You're like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So the, the moon starts coming over it. So it blocks some of the visible light. Right. But that infrared and UV is still cruising yeah. through and you can't see that. Right. And that's what causes problems for people because they I mean, look at the sun and that UV and infrared still getting in and the back of the eye doesn't have any pain receptors. So you don't feel it. Mm. And you don't see it. Yeah, that's it's scary. kind of like carbon monoxide. You, you yeah. know, you, you don't see it. You don't smell it. It's kind of the same thing with this. So this is the, the situation that we're in. Everybody's gonna be looking at the sun. Uh huh. And if you don't have protection, that UV and infrared is gonna wow. it cause damage. And right. if you get damage to your macula, you're immediately legally blind. I mean, you can't see. I can't. You, I can't see your face. Right. I can yeah. see the periphery, and it's just. It's yeah. something you don't think about. It's like breathing. You don't think about not breathing until right. you can't breathe. You don't think about not seeing until you can't see. So, okay. well, so no safe amount of time to look uh, at the. You eclipse. know, you can. I mean, you glance at it for a second or two. Okay. I mean, everybody's kind of looked up. Where's the sun? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's but fine. We've got to make sure we've got these glasses. 100%. And let's just talk about the right eyewear to use yes. if you do want to view it for an extended amount of time. I think the totality is like four minutes or yes. something like that. What do we need? These kind of glasses. Those kind of glasses. Most of them look like that. They've got a stamp on them. An ISO, but anybody can put a stamp on a pair of glasses here. So I, I jumped on your Facebook page. You've got a link. Get, get on that link. There's American um, Astronomical Society has uh, some good feedback mm -hmm. on, on manufacturers and where to get them from. But if you put them on, if you've got some in the house that you already bought, put them on. I mean, they should be black. I mean, you shouldn't, when you put those on, I put them on a minute ago, you can yeah. barely see anything mm -hmm. but a bright light. So you got to make sure you have the correct, the right ones. The correct glasses. Okay. Correct. That's first. And put them on before you look at this, before you yes. look at it. And the time of day this is happening, I mean, you know, kids might be leaving school. If, if they're still school in session, it's right in the middle of the day. So we really want to make sure that we uh, know what we're doing yes. and, and that we're safely viewing this, uh, this phenomenon. Yes. And kid, the kids is a good point, because if you've got a group of kids like a teacher, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to everybody, not yeah. just look at this on yourself and you got, you know, right. Billy over here that's just staring at her without know. anything on. It's so, so scary. Watch out for the kids. Yeah. All right. Dr. Yeah. Stites, we really appreciate your time. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you.